Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this video now This is a little bit of a squad builder But it's more about the big question that I get asked a lot of the times and uh, you know You see it all over YouTube these incredible teams these super teams if you will filled with legends informs team of the seasons team of the years And I mean some of you guys might think you know when you watch the video Oh my god, you pretty much will go unbeaten with this team. It is absolutely amazing Yada 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 and how great of a team it is so I decided you know what? I don't tend to build a lot of these teams, especially in FIFA 14. I haven't built these big super teams, or when I say super teams, I mean, you know, teams um, filled with uh, a few legends and uh, team of the seasons and things like that. Um, I think it's quite common knowledge that if you have an entire team full of informed players It's not gonna play well, so I figured you guys probably already know that by now But um, yeah, so today we're gonna be looking at this team has got uh, uh, Three legends I think and one team of the season and I want to talk a little bit about to you guys about these super teams And uh, what I thought to this particular team who I thought was good who I thought was bad and uh, so on and so forth So uh, as you can imagine it starts off as a bit of a Bundesliga side um, the sort of of, uh, back three and the two, two CDMs are uh, Bundesliga very uh, common sort of picks that you'd find and uh, They're really really quite strong. You got um, those two CDMs I don't often play a lot of three five two But I was finding when I played this team in a four one two one two It was absolutely atrocious and I was literally I was I was I'm not gonna lie I was really pissed off with the game when uh, it wasn't working out for me So I swapped to a three five two and things started to get a little bit better anyways at right mid, we have the normal Robin. I don't have the funds for the team of the season Robin, so I just went with the normal one. But I do have the left midfielder Royce to anyone who has seen recently. I got him actually in a 100k pack. Go ahead and watch that video. I get two team of the season, so it's uh, pretty it's actually pretty good and uh, definitely the best team of the season that I've ever gotten in a pack. Um, anyways, uh, next up, we have the three legends. Now, the three legends are in fact a rude hullet. Um, George Way, I think is how you say that. Um, I'm not entirely, don't, don't quote me on that. Anyway, we'll just call him George for the sake of the video. And then the other striker is Crespo. Now, I asked a few people on Twitter, could you link me some teams with uh, Crespo um, and Hula in it? And a few of you guys got back to me with some really cool, cool ones. Uh, I don't think there was any that was just exactly like this. I kind of tailored it to my own uh, liking, but there were plenty that gave me loads of ideas. So thank you very much to the guys on Twitter that helped me create this sort of super team, if you will. Anyways. Um... Yeah, so legends now legend players are known to be really quite good They're known for their strength. That's something I definitely noticed with them except for big George for some reason George is just really really bad for me way is just so bad And I don't know what it is I tweet out on Twitter like he honestly is the worst legend that I've used and I'm not sure why in this He will get a couple goals, but like you just look and his finishing isn't clean It doesn't it, you know, I, I've I used so many different strikers in this game that he he just doesn't rank up there with even my top 10 and I'm not entirely sure why that is because I really like Hernan Crespo I think Crespo's fantastic he's got the nice mixer of strength height got decent pace on him and his finishing is quality too now um Hullet is another one I really like Hullet. I mean look at that for a finish that is ridiculous you know they score some really tasty goals for me but as far as the team goes the amount of chances I create with this team is just bonkers literally I create so many chances I dominate teams with uh, these players I, I literally I'm not a guy who plays with a lot of possession. You guys are well aware of that a lot of the times I play very counter-attacking football But with these teams, I'm able to dominate opponents But what I'm not able to do is score a shit ton of goals now. I'm not entirely sure why that is uh, I just can't seem to do anything, but this right here. This is the best motherfucking player in the game I'm not even joking guys team of the season Royce is Ridiculous this guy is out of this world I mean look at that for a finesse shot in FIFA 14 We all remember when it first started, you know, it was a little bit OP and all all that stuff but now I mean in now it's quite hard to score the finesse shots but this guy just he doesn't fuck around they literally score finesse shots I mean sorry Royce scores finesse shots really really nicely so as far as super team goes I think that they are so so overrated and just do not spend that sort of amount of coins on them I mean if you're one who likes to collect players like I am like I like to collect players have them in my club I mean I do want to be able to have a Pele sitting in my club at the end of the season that is 100% um, You know just a sort of collector's item. I ain't wagering him none of that crap I literally just want him to sit in my club I'll put, put him in a few teams things like that because I quite like collecting players But as far as their actual value goes for how they play on the pitch. It's just 
just not worth it. They're just not that good. Hullet for me, like I said, he does, he is good and he creates some really nice goals occasionally. But what's weird about his, he, I feel as though he drops really deep. He's kind of like Rooney. He always seems to be playing around with the center defensive mids. I, I want you up there. I want you further up. And there's that 90th minute winner. And the guy actually um, in game, I don't know if you would have been able to hear of it in the audio. He was like, ah, oh, fuck. But um, yeah, so, you know, that team right there, that cost an absolute bomb. Um, definitely a 5 million plus. I, I'd say it's closer to about 8 million coins. But is it worth it? Absolutely not. It's not worth it. Um, is it quite fun to play with? Yeah, I'd say it's fun to play with. Is it the best team I've used? Not at all. But you would expect that sort of thing with the sort of players we're using. And I don't know why it's like that. I'm not entirely sure whether, you know, it's just a team that I created. I, I, I don't know. But to anyone out there who has created these super teams, who has the coins to make um, these incredible squads, I want to ask you guys a question. Do you think it's worth the coins? And, you know, do you like super teams? Personally, I like the cheap ones that I can just walk into a game and for some reason they play so quick the ball is just passed around really nicely like ping pong passing and you end up getting a goal and um you know, that comes with just, like, normal normal teams, no informs, no legends, none of that. It just, you know, just a normal team, and I seem to play much better with those than I do with these legend squads. So let me know in the comments, guys. I would love to hear your thoughts on uh, these super teams that are being built. Plenty of YouTubers are building them, but for me, they just... I, 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 they're just not worth it. They're just, yeah, I'm just not impressed by these big ass super teams. And when I say super teams, it's just another word for an expensive ass motherfucking team. Have a fantastic day, guys. I'll see you guys in a little bit. And, uh, bye bye.